All right. I used your bat. Thank oh, you. you. Did. did it help? It did. It felt. I was. I, I was <laughs> losing barrel control. With the, I was getting under everything. That head is so light that I caught a loop, just enough of the barrel that instead of going straight up, it went kind of up and. See now, see now you got me cool because I was thinking I was getting stronger. Now you're just so light. Like, now, now, it, now I'm not. You've always had that 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 old man strength anyway, Dan. That's right. So. There you go. Oh, you're good. Here you go. Come on, you're up. Okay, so I don't know if anyone's going to check in here, but um, I'm not in the field anymore. We decided that we could. I mean, a 51-year-old center field was too much of a liability in a game this close. So, Billy's out there. I'm going to stream the rest of the way. I should be able to hand it off just when I'm batting. So. There you go. All right. Okay. Nice quick inning there. So, again, if you're just checking back in, uh, I'm out of, I'm not in the field anymore. We're going to put Billy out there, make sure that we, we get this one. So I should be able to stream the rest of the way. I may have to hand it off when I bat, but the big issue is coming in and out, finding somebody to hold the camera. Guys don't want to hold the camera, which is fine. I don't blame them. I mean, these guys are focusing on baseball, not on, on AV, on the audiovisual aspect. Find an angle. I'm trying to find an angle that keeps this camera relatively. I'll try that. I know it's not perfect, but I'll try to hold it as steady as I can. So the score now is two to nothing. We are in, I believe, the maybe bottom of the fifth. Possibly bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the fifth, I think. Casey, what inning is it? Top of six? It's time, sorry, top of six. Mammoth are up two to nothing. Runs came from a first inning. Don't don't remember how we got the run in the first. New pitcher, a bigger bodied guy, but looks strong. I think this might be their best pitcher. Would not surprise me. I think uh, we're going to find this guy to be more of our speed. Sometimes upgrading on the mound is a downgrade when you're facing certain teams. We were not hitting that soft guy at all. This guy's got a little more pace on the heater. Hey, thanks, Lips Dad. I saw... Uh, that you uh, sent out a thanks on the stream last night. I saw that as I was closing things up. You're very welcome. This is as much fun for me as it probably is for you guys to have uh, an awareness of what's going on. This really gives me something to do. I enjoy talking about these guys. All right. So, and it's always nice to know that I'm talking to somebody. See my mom. cheered my first at bat. Hopefully she saw my second at bat. Just a little teardrop. Looper to left that scored a run. It's probably the happiest in terms of the excitement I felt as a, as a ratio of the quality of the hit. That might have been the biggest discrepancy I've ever experienced. I mean, that's an exaggeration, but I'm just glad to help this team. You know, you stand behind this camera outside the dugout. Sometimes you can feel a little disconnected, and I really don't. But now, if, if the tournament ends, you know, I contributed a fairly important hit. So that was good. Anyway, let's get back to the game. We got uh, Casey Johnson. Wow, that's the third one. Maybe the second one that he's popped up. Casey's a little, little off right now. We'll have another at bat at least today, and then hopefully another game. Get back dialed in before hopefully the games to come in the playoffs. I hope this camera doesn't overheat. So, next is Emery. Emery's popped up twice. We we're swinging under the uh, slow guy a lot. This guy, I think, is going to be. So, that's a 
That's a typical 35 plus fastball. And that is that is a filet mignon to this hitter at the plate now. So we'll see. Let's see what Emery does to that fastball. There it is again. And that's what Emery does to that fastball. That is a it's well over the head of the left fielder. I think Emery's gonna I think Emery's gonna wheel the third. Excellent. We should get this guy in. It's only one out. Just a little bit, a little uptick in velocity, and Emery's back out on plane with that pitch, and that was a rocket to left center. I mean, the left fielder, the left fielder kind of froze as you do when the ball is hit at you, and then just started running back, turned his back and started running to the fence. He knew. Man on third, one out. This phone was overheating. This phone was overheating really badly, Dan. If we go offline suddenly, it's probably because we overheated. I'll try to. It doesn't take long to cool the phone back. Cool, cool the phone back down. I will try to get it up as quickly as I can. Good eye by Nate Stark. I think you can see the batter. I should be able to try to. See this. It's terrible. Sorry. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Come on, get there, get there! Oh my goodness. Okay, that was. They run everything out, boys. That was a disaster that turned very fortuitous. That was a ground ball to the pitcher. Pitcher threw it to the first baseman on a hop. Popped out of the first baseman's glove. The first baseman had to leave the bag to get the ball. By the time he picked it up and put his foot back on the bag. Nate had beat it out, so instead of man on third, two outs, we've got first and third, still one out. So we get another shot to get that guy in from third with one out. That is really big. There you go, Danny. Good hustle from Nate to get down there. We almost busted out last inning. We had the bases loaded with two outs. Matt Grill hit a ball to center. And... Uh, oh, I was told it was a diving catch. I mean, if that falls, I think that's with this offense. We would have rolled over to the top, and that might have been the that might have been the first uh, boulder in the avalanche. But maybe they arrested the avalanche there. Maybe we can start it back up right here. Second and third, one out. Dan Smolik at the plate. A little bit, off. A little bit up. Dan shook his head. Here you go. Now we're ready. Not the one he wanted, that's right. It's a good take. I think Dan's actually good at taking that ball up and away the other way. In batting practice, I see him doing that. There's a base hit. There's a line drive base hit to right center. That's going to fall. Two are going to score. I love, it. I love it when Dan gets a base hit. Big smile from Dan at first base. Boy, Dan. Out of way, Dano. Hey, nice hit, Em. Wow. Emery said that's the last fastball I see today. I think that's fair to say. He saw the first one, and then he saw the speed, and the guy tried to come in with the second one, and it's game over, man. Game over. Big hit from Dan Smolik. Big one-out hit. Knocks in two. Scores now 4 nothing. Oh, leave it. I was out in center for a couple innings. I'd say the pitchers, like the strike zone is is a representative 35 plus strike zone. Not extremely tight. I mean, down here, I think go, the zones go. are it's going to get by the catcher. Dan Smolik's advancing to second. The zones down here are generally tighter than what we see back home, at least I'd say in the TCMABL. I mean, there's a few umpires in the TCMABL who have tighter zones, but I'd say in the 35 plus level, the zone is pretty soft. Keep hitting, right? Stay in there. Unless you got to get guys in, then go ahead. Okay. Um, down, down here, 
typically see some tighter zones. Hey, Randy. Hey, good take, doll. <laughs> 